So you have four children. One's A, one's B, one's O, and one's AB. Can they have the same two biological parents? Well, let's take a look. So if we have a parent that is A and a parent that is B blood type and they're heterozygotes, let's put this Punnett square together. So is it possible? Absolutely. Both parents have to be A and B and they have to be heterozygotes. So the answer to that question is yes. All right, so this, like I said, Mendelian genetics is like putting a puzzle together. I just want to see if there's a blood typing question in here. I'm going to leave those questions for um, tomorrow. Now, the other, the other piece that I want to look at is dominance hierarchies. And then I want to look at pedigrees. So in your Nelson textbook, this is a great example of dominance hierarchies. So this is page 612. Uh, number one, and this is in Nelson. Okay, so the question says, uh, multiple alleles control the coat color of rabbits. A gray color is produced by the dominant allele, big C. The CCH allele produces a silver gray color called chinchilla. When present in the homozygous condition, CCH, CCH. So you get chinchilla with CCH, CCH. When CCH is present with a recessive gene, a light silver gray color is produced. The allele CH is recessive to both the full color and the chinchilla allele. The CH allele produces a white color with black extremities. This is called Himalayan. Uh, an allele CA is recessive to all genes. So you have this dominance hierarchy where you have big C, which is full color. You have um, uh, C, C, H, which is chinchilla. You have C, H, which is Himalayan, and then you have albino. So your test cross for this case is C, A, C, A. So that's the most recessive trait. Okay. Um, and if you have C, C, H, C, C, H, then you have chinchilla. Okay. Uh, anything that has big C will be full color. C, CH, uh, if you have CH or CA, that will be light gray. And CA, CA is albino. So you have multiple alleles and there's a dominance hierarchy in the multiple alleles. Okay, so A says, indicate the genotypes and phenotypes of the F1 generation from the mating of a heterozygous Himalayan coat rabbit with an albino coat rabbit. So here's my chart. Himalayan, heterozygous Himalayan, and an albino. So I have CHCA times with the albino, so I've got C A C A C H C A All right, so here what I'm going to get is um, uh, genotype is uh, 1 C H C A per 1 C A C A and a pheno is going to be one Himalayan per one albino, or 50% Himalayan, 50% albino, right? The number, the gross numbers don't matter, it's the probability that matters, right? 
So B says the mating of a full color rabbit with a light gray rabbit produces two full color offspring, one light gray offspring, and one albino offspring. Indicate the genotypes of the parents. So we've got a full color rabbit and then it's mated and it's mated with a light gray rabbit. So this is going to be, one of the alleles is going to be C, C, H, and we don't know which one that, which is the other one. Okay, but we know that there's an albino offspring. Okay, so there's an albino. So there has to be a CA here and there has to be a CA here as a result. Okay, so this gives me C, CA and C, C, H, C, A, which are mated together. And I make my Punnett square. All right, so what do we get? We get, um, right, so this is light gray. These are full color. And this is albino. We know that albino allele has to be in there in both because you get an albino offspring and it is your test cross. It is your most homozygous recessive. So we get um, uh, two full color to one light gray to one albino. And that's my phenotypic ratio. Okay. C asks uh, a chinchilla rabbit is mated with a light gray rabbit. The breeder knows that the light gray rabbit had an albino mother. So you have chinchilla and the light gray rabbit had an albino mother. So the light gray rabbit has to be this. Okay. And it says indicate the genotypes and phenotypes of the F1 from this mating. All right, so this is what we get, right? So we're gonna get um, uh, one chinchilla to one light gray, or 50% chinchilla to 50% light gray. Okay, D asks, uh, a test cross is performed with a light gray rabbit and the following offspring are noted. So test cross is uh, an albino, right? The albino is your test cross. It is the most recessive. And then you have a light gray rabbit. So the light gray rabbit, there's five Himalayan rabbits and five light gray rabbits. So the light gray had to have is made with a light gray rabbit. So the light, yeah, the light gray rabbit had to have been, uh, had to have a Himalayan allele, right? So we have, uh, so we'll have C-A-C-A -A and C-C-H-C-H. -C -H. And then this is where you get your light gray combo. Pen just ran out. Sorry about that. Um, so we have C, C, H, 
C A C C H C A C H uh, C A and C H C A. So this gives you uh, one light gray to one Himalayan, and that gives you your one to one ratio. Okay, so like I said, Mendel is putting a puzzle together. Um, I'm gonna leave. I gotta recharge my um, camera here. So uh, that's all mono hybrid cross stuff. Like I said, page six twelve. Um, in your McGraw Hill, use your key for practice questions. I gave you a bunch of practice examples. Um, in Nelson and McGraw Hill, page 609 is also um, a very good uh, set of practice questions. So please look at that. Uh, I'll do pedigrees in a separate lecture, and then uh, we'll look at dihybrid crosses uh, as well uh, in a separate lecture. So I'm going to end that there with multiple alleles um, and I'll continue this lecture um, uh, probably either tonight or tomorrow. We will talk to you later. Bye now.